Mr. Hinton, you say that a brief affair with the defendant's now deceased mother resulted in their birth. You say you lost touch with the children after a tragic accident and have spent the last 25 years trying to find them and prove you are their father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Waddell, you and your twin brother say Mr. Hendon is a stranger who popped up out of nowhere claiming he's your father. You say you've always known that Mr. Walls is your dad and you want Mr. Hinton to move on with his life. Is that correct? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Sir. All right, Mr. Hinton, I'll start with you. Why do you believe these are your children? Um, I was in Columbus, Ohio at a flea market. Um, somebody came up and tapped me on the back of my shoulder. I turned around and looked. I didn't recognize her at first. Then she looked at me like, this is Tanya. And then it kind of, it clicked for me right then and there. So we, we did our pleasantries and we hugged. So I said, well, why don't you come over tonight and uh, uh, we'll do some talking. So I came over that night and I talked to her. Um, as, uh, at the time, we was talking, there was kids running around the living room. I mean, just running around, just running around like kids do. And so there was two kids, basically, a boy and a girl. Um, the one time, they both stopped at the same time and looked at me, okay? And next thing you know, the boy just took off because he was just, he was in his own element doing what he was doing. But the daughter, she ran and jumped in my arms. And I said, well, she don't want to, she don't want to never leave me. Then her mother told her, well, she probably know that you're her father. What? <clears throat> He's and not I... my father. And that little girl was Ms. Waddell. Yes. Marilyn. Yes. He's not my father, Your Honor. So, Ms. Waddell, you disagree. I totally disagree. I literally only heard of this man three years ago when he messaged me through Facebook and claimed to be my father. So... You don't I... remember that encounter? Not at all. Not at all. She was, only, she was only about two there, so she wouldn't even remember. The only thing that I remember is I do remember when I was a little girl and my mom let me go with a man who I called Mark. I didn't even call him dad. I didn't call him Manny. His name was Mark. He just took an interest in me and my mother just let me go with him. We would like just go to get ice cream. We'd go to the park or, you know, then he, like, he would just bring me back. And I just remember one day that he just literally came and was like, no, this is the last time I'm going to see you. Um, I'm moving away, and I never saw him anymore. And that was probably about a year or so before my mother passed. So you met a man named Mark. And it wasn't, like, a long time that I was even seeing him. It wasn't, like, it... When I say a long time, like, years that I was... that this man was involved with me, this Mark man. That's not true, Yana, because... The fact of the matter is, once she told me right then and there, I took the responsibility, this is my child, okay? Now, mind you, I have to tell you a little element that at the time, she did not tell me that Marshawn and, and Marilyn were twins. Wow. So, I did not know this. Why would she not tell you that, I don't know. that we Even were twins? To this day, that makes I no don't sense. know. They weren't identical twins, so it just didn't click to me, okay? So, wait. You claim you were there and you took responsibility after the mother said you the father. Yes. But Ms. Waddell testified that she got picked up and spent time with a man named Mark. All right. Your name is Emmanuel. Right. Well, I can tell you the, I tell you the reason why I'm behind that. And it's, it sounds kind of weird, but trust me, let me walk you through this. At the time in Columbus, at the time in Columbus, Ohio, I don't know what it was. It was a big boom. There's a lot of males that were named Emmanuel. I knew six people named Emmanuel myself. So I didn't want these people to keep everybody in the whole city keep interfering with me and thinking I'm this Emmanuel and I'm this Emmanuel. Mark is my that middle name. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, Mark you won't change your whole name just you. because there's... Wait a, a minute. So you're testifying <laughs> that you are Mark? My name is Emmanuel Mark Hinton. As I was like, I was, I was like, my family was always told me that um, I always heard Raynard. I've never, I've never heard mm -hmm. Emmanuel or Manny. I've always heard Raynard. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't meet Raynard until I was 25. So, that, yeah. so all together, I was like, who is this Raynard? I, I, I've never heard, I've never heard Manny. I've never heard Emmanuel. I've never heard how to, you know, until I just got older. Since you know? I was about 16 years old, my family members have always told me that. Um, Mr. Walls over here is my father. You've always been told Mr. Walls is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. But you do admit you were allowed to spend time with a gentleman named Mark. Yes, Your Honor. And it was just me. It wasn't... 
it, my twin brother wasn't there with us. It was just me. But you testified, Mr. Hinton, you never knew they were twins. I never knew they was twins until shortly before the accident of uh, her, her mother had got into a really bad car accident. Mm. Prior to that, that's when no. I was over there to pick her up one weekend, and I brought her back on Sundays like I normally do. Me and her mother sat down and talked, and then, because I kept asking her, I said, why do she keep saying twin? Because that twin this, twin this. And I'm saying, because they don't look alike, whatever case may be. So she said, well, Marsha is her twin, which is also your, your child also. So right then and there, I let her have it. Why didn't you tell me this then? Okay? Because here's the, here's the thing about it is, is that something happened prior to all this. Marshawn, Marshawn was no longer in the household, but I let her have it because now you're telling me I have a daughter and I also now I have twins. It took me, it took me seven months to get myself together, okay? I came back up on the weekend to come to get her and I told her point blank to the guardian, I said, I'm here to get Marilyn. She told me, you're not going to get her. I don't trust you. I don't know you. You're not going to go if with him. we're twins, I was going with at Marilyn. this point, he knows like, that we're twins, right? My foster so family he... bought me there. I had a foster family that, that, that bought me there. But you wasn't there when I came up to get her. If we're you twins, yes, why you didn't he just both... get... Why didn't he come back to get both of us seven months later? Seven months later. Yeah, why would you just say, I'm coming back to get Marilyn? Because he was not there. Okay. I was there. I'm not going to take <laughs> one and not take the other. I, I'm a single mother. I, I struggle, but I'm not just going to leave him or just put him in foster care, let him go over, you know, A, B, C house just because I can't take him. We're going to struggle together. You're breaking the cycle. Right. Yes, With I'm totally son. breaking the cycle. And, so. and but there wasn't a cycle there, Yana. Well, 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 this, cycle. Because here's there. well Mr. Hinton... I tried. Hold on. There may not have been a cycle for you, but you must acknowledge that these young people have been through. I agree. I acknowledge that as all. But what we would not want any child to have to go through. They, they were separated right. and separated from their family. Now, with that said, I want to understand your testimony clearly. It is not that you didn't come back. When you came back, you say the person who had guardianship over them said to you, I don't know you, I don't trust you, this wasn't written anywhere. You not on the birth certificate. You can't take them. She told me, you need to leave my yard, get out my, get out my space. I'm going to call the cops. I went to family services and told them exactly, this is what the plan that we had had. I am the father. She told, the, the, her caseworker told me, said that this lady had called us to say that this man in Cincinnati claiming to be their father, saying they're going to come back and get him. I don't, I'm not giving it to him. So, children's services took the kids out of the home for whatever reasons that was, it was happening, but they were all gone. Okay, so now, where is my child? I, I need to know where my child is. How did you finally find them? I'm not uh, tech savvy or anything like that. It took my brother in, 19, in uh, 2015, and we were just sitting there talking one day in the living room, and I'm always talking about them when they was her, especially her when she was little. And I said, I done tried this, I done tried that, whatever case may be. He said, you ever try Facebook? I put in Marilyn Bird Waddell and <laughs> pop right up. Wow. Pop right up. I start crying like, 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 somebody, like somebody just hit me in the mouth, whatever case would be. I was crying so much. Her, she was just, that's how I remember her, face and all and everything. And so, Miss Waddell, <laughs> when you got that message and it said, this is your dad, yeah. did you feel like, I believe this? Or did you feel, no, who is this? not at all. What were you thinking? I didn't, I didn't think that, that, um, he was my father at all. That's where I the main just... thing came in. So why did you decide to meet with him? Because he was so sure. He was so adamant that he was, that he was my father. And I'm just like, you know, I don't know my dad. So let me, you know, at least I can just take, like, this step. Maybe this is just, just one step forward to figuring out who I am. So I decided to meet with him. And then we just... Wait, you say there. you didn't know your dad, but weren't you told Mr. Walls was your dad? Yes. Mm -hmm. We were told that Mr. Walls was our father, but he wasn't there either. Oh, so I, I, okay. I met him about eight years ago. I'm Roy Johnson and Melanie's dad. You are? Yeah. I know they're my kids. Okay, so you do not have a doubt. All right. So what did their mother tell you? Well, I was at work one day and her mom came with my job and told me that she was pregnant. And I said, yeah, she said, they're your kids. So I said, okay. 
Yes, I knew that. So, um... You so, just said okay. Because you knew, you knew you were in a sexual relationship with him. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so you didn't protest. No. All right. So, were you there with her mom throughout the pregnancy? Uh, yes, I was. Did you know she also had a relationship with Mr. Hinton? No, I didn't. But you are testifying that their mother told you you are their biological father. Right. And you accepted it. Right. Ms. Yeah. Waddell, have you ever heard that anyone other than these two men could be your biological father? <laughs> yes. You have? Yes. Yes. So, these two, are not, these two are not the only men who claim to be my dad. There's also two other men who claim to be my father. What in the world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When Mr. Hinton speaks about you, he speaks as if he tried. He speaks as if he loved you. He speaks as if he accepted you all. And there's such an animosity mm -hmm. that I... towards him that I didn't hear towards... when you spoke of any other man that thought they potentially could be your father, too. What is it that makes you so angry or have so much animosity towards him? Because I have a, a lot of animosity and honestly a lot of resentment towards him because he just he just always talked about how he looked for us for years and years and years. We have been through so much. That's all he talked about how he looked for us. And I just feel like you didn't try hard enough, you know? And the animosity is because on top of him just suddenly just appearing, when he did appear, I felt like he just was like I'm I'm at this time I'm thir thirty years old. He came in, like, bam, 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 like, trying to father me, like, trying to tell me what to do, like, just overburdening me. And I'm just like, at this point, you seem to be my friend. We have in this courtroom two of four possible fathers, one of which has already been tested and is not the father. So we still have another man besides both of you who could potentially be the twins' biological father. Has everybody prepared themselves for that? Yes. Because fraternal twins could have different biological fathers, we performed individual paternity tests on Marilyn and Marshawn. With that being said, it has been determined that they share the same father. When it comes to 33-year-old fraternal twins, Marilyn and Marshawn Waddell, it has been determined by this court. The father is... Mr. Walls. <laughs> Mr. Hinton, I know this was not the answer you were expecting. I'm sorry that we had to go through all this. And I just want to tell you, Mr. Walls, you, you got your work cut out for you, but you got two great kids there. Yeah, I know. They are great, and they're going to make you proud. Like I've been proud, you know. <laughs>